Hey, if you're in Virginia Beach or Richmond and you want to buy a single ticket to our stand-up shows, you can do so now. Single tickets are now available in Virginia Beach and Richmond, and we'll see you on October 16th in San Jose, California. This is, we've featured her before, Claire Daly. She's a member of the European Parliament. And uh, listen to what she had to say. Uh, she's an Irish politician who has been a member of the European Parliament for Ireland for the Dublin constituency since July 2019. Okay. Here's what she had to say about the war in Ukraine. The war in Ukraine is quickly escalating into a wider horror. And from what I can see, practically nobody in this chamber is doing anything to prevent it. In fact, most people seem to get off on the fact that it's escalating. Yeah. And at this precise moment, of course, as usual, the voices challenging the rush to war are attacked and silenced, smeared as traitors, cronies, Putin puppets, Kremlin stooges, Russian ages, Frankly, it's pathetic. And I don't make the comparison lightly, but the crudeness and cynicism of these slurs coming from mainstream EU parties might as well have been written by Hermann Goring, who infamously said that even though people never want war, they can be brought to war with threats and smears. He said, all you have to do, tell them they're being attacked, denounce the pacifists for lack of patriotism and exposing their country to danger. It works the same every way. Where he led, you are following. This House should be ashamed of this debate. Words are being twisted, meaning subverted, and the truth turned on its head. Opposing the horrible madness of war is not anti-European. It's not anti-Ukrainian. It's not pro-Russian. It's common sense. The working class of Europe have nothing to gain from this war and everything to lose. And I find it laughable that those calling for arms to Ukraine never call for arms for the people of Palestine or for the people of Yemen. Unlike you, I oppose all war. I want it stopped. I make no apology for that, and I'm not going to be scapegoated and labeled for it either. I thought she was going to say when she was listening, like, but enough about Ro Khanna. <laughs> so they're not going to show that on MSNBC or CNN. Uh, the only person in all of news that might show it is Tucker Carlson. Um, he's the only one I saw that showed Biden saying we're blowing up the. We're gonna, that, oh he's yeah, he's the only one that showed it. I we showed it. I, I know. I mean, other than here, I know. Uh, every news thing I saw talking about it, they all said, "Oh, it's weird." He said, "There's a great opportunity." Sure, I'm like, "Yeah, you know, this is weird." They're saying we're going to do it. Part didn't show it. Huh? I wonder if they showed that on uh, the other YouTube shows. I wonder if I've only seen it here and on a Tucker clip. Really? That had it. I didn't see it on you know when uh joy uh. What's her name? Not joint. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, seriously. Um, so that's why we have a show. I mean, yeah. Because we show stuff like this. We know this to be true. Like to me, she's not, she's just stating it's something that I know already. And I bet if you watch the show, you know it too. But maybe you know someone who needs to see this. But I'm, you know, if I showed this to like my old roommate, for instance, he would say that's Putin propaganda, Jimmy. <laughs> that that and not not saying it sarcastically. When I told my old roommate that we were funding Nazis in Ukraine, he looked at me seriously and said, "Jimmy, that's Putin propaganda." The celebrated Azov Battalion. <laughs> it was it was just it's you know it's like when my other comedy friend told me, "Jimmy, I'll go along with a lot of what you say, but that January sixth, I'm sorry, that undermined democracy." Really. That's what you think undermined our democracy. You know, it, it's, it's upsetting when you realize you're, what, you're talking to a dunce. <laughs> like, you got really? a building full of fucking corporate whores that have been selling you out since 1980. They and, all, no, and you think yeah. that a bunch of yahoos were in Viking hats somehow was, was undermining democracy? We almost had a fake Viking president with fake face paint. <laughs> right? Did they think that was going to happen? They don't even know how many people got killed. I, I told you to come after the show. I'm like, do you know, because he's talking about it. Are you know how many, how many people died? No. He just got talking about the mm -hmm. bloody. Yeah. Was it bloody? <laughs> so good for you, Claire. Yeah, they, it, it is some stuff you already know. Just who's nobody will say it on a thing. But nobody will say it. But so it's glad that she did. I mean, it's great that she's saying it in, in the European Parliament at the top of her lungs into a microphone. 
So, Kurt, uh, I'm going to Bakersfield tomorrow. Well, well, uh, well, well comedy club. Yeah, yeah, we did it at seven. I'm doing a show there. Yeah, I don't know. I got the last minute, but I don't want to promote. Why did you get it last minute? What happened? Did somebody drop out? Uh, maybe it was the last minute. I don't know. I don't. Uh, okay, you know, I don't know. so everybody go at well Bakersfield tomorrow yeah. night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night seven. in Bakersfield at the Well. Kurt Metzger will be there. Yeah, and then uh, October twentieth uh, through twenty third at Go Bananas. And then uh, uh, November 30th through December 3rd, I'm at Uncle Vinny's. I might be at uh, the Creek in the Cave in Austin before that. Okay. Everybody go to KurtMetzgerComedy.com. I'll be at the Flappers tonight. I'm supposed to be on 8 and 10. I, I often bail on the 10 and just go Why? Because I'm old. <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, is it to drop off or something? I still want to go to that club and try it. I didn't oh, watch that. I'll be there tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow night I'm at the Comedy Magic Club, six and eight. They do a six o'clock show instead of a ten. I like that. that oh. That's old man. <laughs> nice supper show. That's old man. <laughs> Call it supper. <laughs> they have the best salmon there. They do have a great. They bar. got great, oh. great food at the Comedy Magic yeah, Club. They do. Um, so that's where I'll be tonight and tomorrow. And then next week we're in uh, Virginia Beach, Richmond, and Arlington. And tickets are available. Single tickets are now available in Richmond and Virginia Beach. They were not before. They are now. So, uh, and we'll see you in San Jose, California. San Jose, we're going to be there next Sunday. Not this Sunday, but the next one. Okay, we'll see you there. We're doing stand-up comedy in Virginia Beach, Richmond, Virginia, Arlington, Virginia, San Jose, California, Miami, Florida, West Palm Beach, Denver, Palm Springs, Austin, Texas. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for all the tickets. And while you're there, join our premium program. You get to see my new stand-up special coming out.